Is sodium bad? Well, let's have a look in today's video of Ask Yuri. Ask Yuri, you've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. Hey guys, how's it going? You're here. Um, got a really simple question today from Martin who wants to know whether, um, well, he wants to know my stance on salt or sodium and is it really bad? It's always funny when people ask me my opinion on stuff because it doesn't really matter what my opinion is. It matters what happens and works in your body and hopefully what some of the science shows. So to answer this question, there's a difference. I need you to understand there's a difference between sodium and salt. Okay, now we have to understand that sodium is an electrolyte, it's a mineral in the body that, uh, that is really important for electrolyte balance, sodium retention, or um, water retention. So in the body, where sodium goes, water flows. Okay, so if you pee, if you excrete, if you lose sodium, you're gonna lose water. If you hold on to sodium, you're gonna retain water. Not that either one is good or bad necessarily, but it's all about a balance. So here's the thing, um, sea salt, Kosher salt, Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, all those kind of natural whole salts are actually really good for you. Because here's the thing, your body actually needs sodium. It needs sodium, it requires it. Those normal naturally found versions of salts are actually really good because not only do they contain uh, sodium, but it's loaded with all sorts of mineral uh, trace minerals that your body requires. So I personally put salt, sea salt into my water whenever I drink it. And the reason I do that is because my adrenals are a little bit on the low side in terms of their function, which means that they're not producing enough of a, of a hormone called aldosterone, which essentially retains sodium. So what ends up happening is, and if this happens to you, you might know why this is now happening. What ends up happening is when you drink a lot of water or juices or smoothies like I do, you end up peeing a lot and you're peeing away a lot of stuff. You're peeing away a lot of vitamins, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of water, and you're constantly trying to rehydrate yourself. And the reason for that is because your body's not retaining water because it's not holding onto enough sodium because the aldosterone, aldosterone is not there. So in my case, I put a pinch of sea salt into my water or my juice and that solves the problem. So I don't, go to, I don't go to the bathroom as often as I used to, which is good. So that helps with blood pressure, that helps with not feeling lightheaded when you go from a seated or lying down position to a standing position, and it just helps with everything else. So, Celtic, Himalayan salt, all those salts are actually good for you, but again, not in copious amounts, right? A little sprinkle here and there is not gonna kill you, it's actually gonna do you a lot of good. If you're somebody who has high blood pressure already, well then you may wanna minimize that. Now let's look at the flip side, okay? Uh, table salt, like iodized table salt, like the commercial stuff, or uh, processed sodium, like even MSG, monosodium glutamates, or sodium, uh, sodium chloride, NaCl, which is often found in most processed foods, those are very, very, very problematic. And there was, uh, I actually just emailed my, my list a little while ago about this. There's a study that was uh, produced in the Journal of Nature in April 2013, which showed that eating processed foods, specifically the salt, the sodium in those processed foods actually triggered autoimmune disease, okay? Crazy stuff. Basically how this happened is that your body has a couple different uh, cells in your, your, your immune system. And one of them, one of the subcategories are known as Th17 cells. These are kind of a subcategory of, of T help or helper T cells, which help the immune system do what it's supposed to do. But the problem is that increased activation of the Th17 cells increase the aggressiveness of your immune system. So the immune system actually starts attacking your own body and that's known as autoimmunity. Sodium from processed foods was actually shown to increase that whole thing dramatically. So now it's just one reason why we're starting to see more and more and more autoimmune disease develop, whether it be celiac, alopecia, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, type one diabetes, right? We're starting to see or learn why this is happening. So sodium from processed foods is the devil. But sea salt, if you're gonna add it to your foods, if you're gonna add it to a little bit to your water, if you're gonna take it in like that in its natural form, is perfectly fine and safe, obviously in moderate quanti uh, quantities. Again, if you've got high blood pressure, you definitely wanna limit that because then you're gonna retain more water and that's gonna increase your blood pressure. But um, that's, that's essentially the difference, okay? So, Sea salt is very different from sodium and processed foods. Please understand the difference. And, and there we go. So nothing wrong with that. Uh, I've actually written, uh, I've actually done a podcast on this in more depth if you wanna go a little bit more scientific. I'll include a link below this video for that on our Super Nutrition Academy podcast. And you can learn all about salt and the benefits of it. And there we go. So Martin, thank you very much for the question. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.